Hello friends, I am Dr. Avilash Naik. In this video, I am going to talk about the factors affecting the disadvantageous position of the people with disabilities. Education is an empowering force. People from all sections of society use it as a tool for empowering themselves. In open and distance education, there is no scope for any discrimination of any kind on the basis of caste, class, gender or abilities. ODL is a great blessing for people with disabilities as they don't have to take the physical strain of moving out of their locations to attend the academic sessions on a day-to-day -day basis. The tutors or the academic counselors in ODL need to be aware of the various support services available for people with disabilities so that they can discharge their academic responsibilities in a very very effective manner. In this small presentation, as I have already said, we shall be focusing on the factors which contribute to the disadvantageous position of people with disabilities. Factors contributing to the disadvantageous position of people with disabilities. Access to education is based on four values which are central to inclusive education. They are presence, participation, acceptance and achievement. 15% of the world population suffer from one form or another form of disability. The percent of differently abled people going for education, particularly higher education is very much negligible. Access to tertiary education for people with disabilities in India is as low as 0.56%. People with disabilities continue with multiple disadvantages for various reasons. The main reason being the attitude of people dealing with people with disabilities. The social structure, the physical infrastructure, available in educational institutions and the government policies towards people with disabilities are not very encouraging and they greatly contribute to the disadvantageous position of such people. Our society is constructed by people with capabilities, for people with capabilities and it is this that makes people with impairments incapable of doing anything or functioning. Some people are born with disabilities but some people get disabled due to various factors which are beyond their control. It could be war, it could be disease, it could be accident and it could be fire also. Apathy of the common people towards people with disabilities, inadequate accessibility of higher education institutions, lack of support, social media, adverse attitudes uh, among these social people, social isolation and financial capacity, low financial capacity contribute to the disadvantageous position of people. Needs of people with disabilities should be identified early because generally what happens they are identified late and the people in support services have no proper training to respond to their unique needs. So learners with disabilities they hesitate to inform the support staff about their disabilities because they have the fear that they will be victimized if they inform about it. When people coming across the people with disabilities are not responsive to their needs, they feel more disadvantaged than they really are. Inappropriate physical access, inappropriate application admission procedures, inappropriate teaching methods, inadequate support services and resources and non-supportive political will are some of the main factors that contribute to the worsening condition of the people with disabilities. Lack of requisite skills among the, on the part of the people with disabilities also contributes to, to their disadvantageous position. Now let us discuss the factors which contribute to the disadvantageous position of people with disabilities. First of all, the physical infrastructure. As we all of us know, Every education institution should have proper infrastructure for people with disabilities. If there are multi-storied buildings with no elevators, there are no lifts, there are no ramps, there are no toilets for people with disabilities and the door knobs are too high, 
they find it very difficult to have access to such places because of the inaccessibility of the transport facilities and the poor condition of the physical infrastructure in the uh, institutions the learners with disabilities they cannot take part in all the academic activities now the next one that we have already discussed that is unfriendly environment and the negative attitude the negative attitude of the people with disabilities and without disabilities towards disability determines the status of people with disabilities if people are negative towards the people with disabilities they then they cannot expect to perform well in their lives negative attitudes of the academic and administrative staff peers they force the learners to resign to their disadvantageous positions and they hide their invisible disabilities and they don't request the teachers or the other people support staff for any assistance and to accommodate their interests people providing support services to the differently abled people should ensure that policies for the people with disabilities they are put in proper place now there are some challenges to the access to education for the people with disabilities because these people face problem right from their family level the family members they consider sending their children to school a waste of time moreover the breadwinner of a family is required to dedicate himself or herself to service of the people with disabilities all the day which affects also the family income this worsens their condition when people with disabilities consider their disability to be a handicap and they don't make any effort to get out of this condition they their condition deteriorates and they also start victimizing themselves for their own disability negative attitudes towards people with disabilities develop when people are neither sensitive to the problems of people nor they know their rights so that is it is very important that the people with disabilities they know their rights and the people around them they are sensitive to their problems now the next factor that contributes to disability is gender because as we know in case of women disability becomes a double handicap on the one hand they are disabled because of their gender because in the society they are considered inferior to men and because of the disability that becomes a double handicap and the education of women with disabilities is considered estimated to be just 1% the next factor that contributes to the disadvantageous position of the people with disabilities is the lack of information in accessible formats lack of information in the accessible formats prevents people with disabilities from accessing any information and using them in their everyday life for example people with visual impairment if they are not given the reading materials in large print or larger fonts then they won't be able to use the materials properly similarly the minutes of the meetings the entertainment media whatever resources which are used and provided to normal people at different levels of time if they are not given in the accessible format learners with disabilities they won't be able to use such things additional or supplementary materials in both online and offline support should be given to people with disabilities in accessible format so that they are able to participate actively in the open and distance learning system and their performance can be improved now the next factor that contributes to the disadvantageous position of people with disabilities is the public policies the public policies regarding people with disabilities have a great role in shaping their the life of such people unless the public policies are clear about the facilities which are to be given with people with disabilities society cannot be expected to have a positive attitude towards such people admission policies of the universities they have a enabling or disabling effect depending upon the concessions that they allow to people with disabilities the last one that we shall be discussing the factor that contributing to the disadvantageous position of people with disabilities is lack of appropriate technology learners with disabilities can be assisted in multiple ways by integrating 
appropriate assistive technology with the instructional strategies. Learners with mild visual impairment, they can be given with presentations in large font, a large print. And learners with a major visual impairment, they can be given with softwares like JAWS, NVDA, Supernova, Windows Eyes, etc. Likewise, learners with physical and motor problems, they can be given different kinds of facilities like artificial intelligence and robotics enabled technology so that they can move properly in their day-to-day -day life. Learners with hearing impairment can be provided with videos or relevant topics being presented in sign language so that they can use the resources for their access, retention and success in open and distance learning system. Thank you very much.